Astrion. Looking to turn us around, Vanscore doesn't mi miss the roll again. In more chopping low, but has a couple of spells to throw out in first blood. Not quite down. Ike's Metro was there to cancel TP. Misses the stun. Oh, uh, cancel TP. Cancel salve or something. Misses the stun though, but Ixen, yeah, should still be br brought down by him. Just such a painful was, battle between uh, the supports. <laughs> just the fog vision making Med Pump just so furious. Like, you know. Immediately. The mage, bit of a tough spot. He can blink out, but he would blink right into supports unless it's being spotted out. Ixen goes for the roll in. He'll be the sacrificial lamb. Can he bring him down though? Tame One walks in with the extra burst damage, but the call is there. Catches Tame One, follow up stun. He still gets the nukes off. To finish off Ixen, but at what cost? Tame Wild is dropping lower and lower. Mage, can I have another blink uh, nuke available? That's a huge kill to be getting for him in this kind of situation. Yeah, that's probably the worst case scenario. They had the scan, they thought they had it doing his thing for quite a while. This Weaver takes a little bit longer than most carries to get active, so... Don't matter, on the made the rotation on bottom. GH got to not get the memo. Will be hexed up. Shuttle there too. And uh, no, just a couple of right clicks should be enough. Oh, oh, the second time, the first gosh. time to the cross me. Oh god, middle lane. Whoa. That, that was, was insane. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much Mage just turning level 6 and their spirit really far. He's already finished up the Dragonlance, but it's still going to be, you know, 4v5 for the relatively near future. Oh, Blink call, CBS showing that one off. Catches Tamer Wild Mage with a bit of a follow up. Still, so the ultimate available. Has to be careful not to get nuked down, just sitting at very low health on the edge. But still gets it off. Tamer Wild with the dunk. Now, Shachalo, no crumbs to help out. CBS still going in, but fighting inside of March. The door also trying to help out. Gonna be two, one for one trade at the end of the day as Ixen makes the roll out. One for one, but once again, you kill Tinker, you keep him away from these boots of trap. <laughs> uh, there's Never no really kitties in this game, so I have, to, I have to settle with Poof to make me giggle, I guess, <laughs> in team fights, but. Uh oh. GH God, not enjoying his life right now. Oh, first hit bash, are you kidding me? Sashlo quietly on a killing spree actually finishes up his Diffuso Blade right after this wave. Look at that. Yeah, that's a really good timing, actually. And yeah, didn't even need to use a Chronosphere there. <laughs> Do catch a line in a similar situation up top. CBS with a. The Blink Tag is still at the ready. And yeah, they will find more to the middle lane. I don't know. TP skills are so expensive now, Dragon Drop. It's just not worth it. What's the. <laughs> <laughs> So expensive. <laughs> well, I guess you don't need them if people run into you. Metron once again. Bad point. Ah. Cool guy. That's like, it's a quick turnaround. 3 0 start. He's died twice in as many minutes. And now he has 3 2 2. Perfect. 3 2 2. <laughs> uh, you know when you All start right, looking for one. numbers, you find them everywhere? Yeah. <laughs> Oh god. What? Uh, I missed That's it completely, but that was... Okay, Kronos here, yeah, caught one of the clones. It's just so much damage coming out from this Void already. He's level 11, Sashlo is 4, 0, and 1. Level 11 with a Diffusal Blade and Treads at 14 minutes. Like, <laughs> and he just straight up solos the Meepo. And there you go, there's the yes, BOTs. Uh, what's this? Oh, Mage, what? I was gonna say, it's the same amount of farm as Sadoi, but still didn't expect a Weaver to be able to kill a Queen of Pain like that. Yeah, he's going right for the next. Plane being pushed in by Meepo clones. Real Mondo sitting on the side. Flipside is waiting for an opportunity to come in. There it is, maybe now. Box of GH guard on the top of the stun. He should be taken out, especially with a nice little snipe there from Anscore. Now Mage comes in. Be careful, CBS misses the initiation. This is point where Elab just have to call it quits. Boy, this won't let them though, just keeps nibbling away at them. Solo <laughs> to the Weaver. Like, he has the Aghanims finished now, so that's definitely uh, signals go time for Elab, but they have to stay as one. Wanna find Sidori, just use Shikuchi, and now the call, they need some extra follow up, and they do. But everything they have. Well worth it though. I mean, that's their team is kind of designed to do that. Like that's the, when we talked about the draft. Like it's a very snowball. And if Tinker can join, fantastic. If not, let him keep farming because 
You're not winning this game unless Tinker continues to... Let's just go for it, he finds the Meepos. Yeah, yep. there's actually a real Meepo here. Can poofs in, CBS with a gun, with a follow-up. Shasha not quite enough damage, so he'll just fall instead. Well, Mage and Ix, and they find Tim well too, so that's two freebies. Yeah, and... See, this is what I was kind of confused about. Like, it's if Chrono's up and you want to, you have to commit quite a bit, because, yeah, Sasha has a lot of damage, but by himself, it's just not enough. They know this is their peak in the mid game, and it's time to take advantage of it. Yeah. Yeah, just holding them a little bit as the axe. Now the roll in onto Vance because he shows his face inside the other side jungle. Gets a stop off on Eichsen and into his ultimate. But CBS is there, not gonna prevent the death, but maybe gets a counter kill. There it is with the dunk. Gasha will slow down though. Looking for the counter kill. Mage now finding join the party as well, but so is Tamer Wild. Gets the actually nukes out and Mage just says, Alright, gonna be enough for me. No lucky bash. Gasha, I'm not quite fast enough for that jump. Two for one trade still in the end. It's definitely made a resurgence, uh, this meta. Or the, minimum this patch. Maybe not this version of the meta game, but <laughs> Shadow Blade is viable <laughs> and everyone knows. Oh, Sedoi. I'll find Ixen. Ixen finds them, but he dies. Best thing of the game, wow. crown with success. Mage? I uh, could use his ultimate if he wanted to finish up Metrum. It's not the best idea, Sedoi. Making his way to the higher and actually finds GH God. Nice little moves. Will be brought down with a Geminate attack, easy as that. Desolator doing work, and now Tamer Wild caught by Meepo in the middle lane. Finally doing, making something happen on zone, but at what cost? Mage, he's brought down too. Doi is carrying, he's playing the carry, just have one more Shikuchi available. GG, he's still so low, he missed Micros. Now the Kronos here catches GG. And he'll be brought down too. Slow down, plenty of right clicks from afar. Oh, what is going on here? <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused to just die one after the other. Damn good job with just stemming the bleeding and just doing a little damage control here. Getting the big pickoffs when they need it. I mean, really the only person farming right oh, now Metrum? really super effectively is Meepo. Uh, well, he's getting some help from Sodoya, but Ikes and GH God were there. They bring down the line, Mage barely able to survive. Bit of an odd decision, he's just, just sitting in the trees, not blinking in. They will be e even able to trigger the Aegis. That was on the Weaver. Sadoi followed silence. Yeah, he's gonna die a second time. Dunk is missed, but. Yeah, it's really oh. of no consequence. He'll like, have plenty of lockdown for for that Weaver, so it's. Maybe Sash slow. He's gonna go for the solo Chrono. Enough damage coming from the Tinker, wow. Yeah, that's definitely needed maybe though. not the highest priority kill, God. but it's definitely something huge. Emma Wall is so that though. <laughs> Again! Uh, what do you do against that? Right yeah, yeah you, you cannot do anything against the Tinker, right? You, he has a blink. It's gonna catch him and it's gonna be very, very, very scary. Not going for Lincolns, just going straight for the MKB. Yeah, they got Blink Hex, Blink Sheep. Uh -huh. Gage God is dead. Oh, is he? Yeah, four stars. That's <laughs> not the strong projectile, ladies and gentlemen. GG made his way in here. So, actually with a time lapse back here. Gets hexed up and brought down almost. Yeah, will be enough damage with the damage over time. Nice try to from Metro and Vansko to turn us around, but. Let's really make it work. Meanwhile, on the other side, oh, they missed that ultimate. It bring down Faces Void, and no, are they in trouble? Double stun from Metrum gets the follow up there. Tamer Wild, that was a bit of a mosh pit right there. Two heroes together. What is this game? I have what no idea. This, this is so hard to commentate, honestly. Oh, Another kill, hex one hex way, the hex the other way. Nice little poof into the storm, into the stun. Uh, damage is already there from Tamer Wild. They can't quite focus someone down though since Tamer Wild who di who's dying first. All the right clicks. Vanscore still alive somehow. There's nothing he can do. Trying to get off another stomp. <laughs> the right clicks. Right clicks. That was come such out. bait there. That was such bait to get Tamer Wild to come in and just try think that he can take out one of the Meepos. <laughs> yeah. They baited him so hard. And start taking team fights. To start pushing push the waves out, force a team fight on on their terms. Because we haven't really seen that recently. Mage, oh, brought down. The self-refusal for Shardra, I suppose, just get rid of the silence, get the currency off, but now... 
Is that ultimate on cooldown? At least some feel up to work with this. Metro on counter in front. Ixen and CBS to come back in. Van score. Might be. Next one will list here while it's damage over time. Not gonna be. Ixen will definitely fall. CBS made his way back out. And now look at this. GG. Or will the stump again? It doesn't even seem to matter. There's so much in, AoE the on the side of flip side, and GG just does not care. <laughs> so. I don't know. It's difficult. And now with the. PKB picked up by Mage, it's going to be really difficult to take these fights. You know, Pain still with not, as, not a lot of farm, but one still doesn't need it. Oh, God, Lion. He brought down GG, still looking for more, throwing out nets everywhere. And while those sides spamming much machines, now Vance goes to stomp again, caught in the midst of it all. You will tapped up as yeah, GG is still sitting in the march. It's starting to add up here on the, oh, the lowest meeper. Brought to the front lines, brought down, so this is the break that they need at CBS with a nice little double call, but no damage to follow up, and now the fight is on. So Doi looking for the kills and we'll be able to get it. Mage brought down God. thanks to a single lucky time lock bash. And now have a little more they're on the chase. Tamer Wild coming back into this fight, refreshed. And both of those will not be able to TP out. The gem on the deck as Tamer Wild blinks in. Claims the spoils with the heat seeking missiles and the hub of Shachlow. I don't know, that was a giant crow burger. Yeah. <laughs> it took the greatest sponge sheep. He's still using the iron talent too. <laughs> <laughs> you should probably replace that <laughs> as quickly as you can. But yeah, uh, the fight's on. Middle lane, Sedoi, Trigger the Aegis. Can I find more? Uh, Kronos V onto two as mate walks back into it. Ixen should fall on the side. Three heroes down just for the ages and flip side. It's only dominance right now. It's going straight past the tier two, looking for more kills. Sadoi will be brought back. It's GH God scrambling back up to the high ground. Shashlo? What are you doing, buddy? What are you guys doing? It gets to slow down. Buybacks come there in though. GG gets the kill. That was just a little bit too bold. Ike can actually find Sadoi in the back. They can get this hero too. With the call to follow up. Yeah, there it is. This side, it's just... They throw what away what they just gained. Is he drunk? I'm, why was he over there by himself? Uh, um, it's just a BKB. Just uh, make sure the Meepo doesn't just bring you down with poofs by chance. Oh, GG. He wants something here. He's got silver oh. edge. He's going oh. right. Oh. <laughs> Ouch! Yeah. Well, Metro cancels the TP. GG's there with that. Oh, what? What was that? That's a thing. I think that's what you call worth, my friend. <laughs> He's waiting for his oh, uh, wow. self to get off cooldown, bro. <laughs> oh, that oh. was a very interesting trade, but let's see. Catch Ikes in the back. Metro didn't even use his finger for that was all time a while with the amplified damage that from Van score. I wanna check the check the combat log, Tamer Wild uh, Tinker Target Meepo. It's gonna lag a bit. Meepo won't have buyback for another ten seconds. He's waiting for the passive gold to push him over the edge. Oh. Got a little bit of time. Oh my catch GH got now, there it is. Ugh. CBS is getting blown up. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Mevo this... does have buyback and it might be time to use it. This this T3 is pretty much gone here. Not sure it's gonna be enough. I mean you're missing your controlling factors. And flip side, they're on the road right now. Metrum just goes in and forces out the BKB. Mage committing in for the kill as a result. They will be able to get it. Without further uh, for the casualties, but the BKB and null down. There's just more space for flip side. So much farm too, like for a coddle. Blink, four staff, tranquils, agonims, and a gem that he purchased himself. Like he's, he's very farm, just not a whole lot of tank there, I guess. I uh, uh this is... Meepo did it again. So we'll have to catch. It's the same kind of burst combo. It's still the reason. Mage 
it's like BKB, like just 1v1 against the Weaver. It doesn't take too many hits before she starts getting just chipped away. GG so is it's... looking for it. Oh, Yule Scepter. Poof's not coming in just yet. There it is. GG is starting to take some damage. All of us there. Sedoi comes in looking for a target with all this chaos. He still gets a dunk off. Uh, not the second one though. Sedoi will time us off the rest of the damage. Tamer Wild can just TP out. No follow up. No lockdown to cancel it. Doi is still going ham. Gem on the tank. GH God will not be. Yeah, we'll be able to survive this. This is Doi changing focus here onto Mage. Going to blink the other way. And Tamer Wild. Uh, he has some blinks of his own plus the hexes. Oh, GH God. All of a sudden, last man standing will <laughs> not be able to walk out of here though. Unless the Doi. Oh. The Doi catches up. It's Tamer Wild. Ugh. Getting that hex is probably like the biggest thing that could happen right now because he's not doing a ton when he does not, so small issue here, but Um left to work with either. I mean Sidor is fairly low, so it's one thing that they can use. He just kills himself on the <laughs> yeah, late he's mail. pretty low. It's pretty low. Uh, I guess buyback. They really want to end this game now. Just using that. And the catch. Earthspit in the front. Chronosphere used for the axe. He still has buyback. And Meepo and Mage are going to come back soon. They're going to lose the tower. Don't have a lot of their ultimates left standing. Metrum still goes in deep. CBS misses the blink call. Now Vansko. Why do you actually get the snipe on Earthspit again? That's a dieback for him. Fight still rages on. Mage pops a BKB. They almost get the net to Metrum. Gem vision for Elab right now. We're gonna try and go for Roshan's. Not a good idea. Flipside was scattered out immediately, but nice little blink there from CBS. Sedoi almost brought down! Not quite. He times off a lot of the damage. We'll be able to bring down CBS. Roshan is going on. The Bucks will scout it out on top of GG. You're starting to drop low on his main Meepo. Throws out Nets here, but he's being controlled up. Tim Walt comes in, finishes him off, so buyback is there. He has to TP somewhere close to the fight. Any though, he can't. I'm just gonna have to abandon it. So much damage being done once again for Flipside, and they're gonna be able to bring down the Strohshan themselves as a result of it. It's a doy, just not dying much really for the E-Lab. Two ears down. We'll just barrel down this middle lane, finish up another tier 3. The Glyph is there. But if they lose mage here, yeah, Blink Hex from Metrum set up. The Tamer Wall is there for some extra damage, and it's a doy with the right clicks. The chain hex too, there's nothing you can do at this stage. And again, the BKB of Chronosphere in the backlands onto GG. They find themselves in Meepo. We'll be able to bring him down. He's not coming back anytime soon. This should be it here. Mage four stops everything that they can try and do to just keep him safe. But Tamer Wild is just doing so much work. TBS will be able to trigger the Aegis thanks to the Blade Mail call, but your GG has already been called, and yeah, rightly so. They did some damage, but it was no way they could come back into this game without their Meepo. So this box strat not working out for Elab, and they do drop 2-0 up against Flipside in this best of three.